Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Yuletide, which is a beautiful blur blue fern collection. And um, this is an eight by eight pocket page. So what I did was I fussy cut this from the 12 by 12 pack. So I'm using a combination of 12 by 12 and eight by eight. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And I've decided to use this as the backdrop. So it's gonna go as the main page. And I'm going to have to trim it. It doesn't look quite right. And then I'm going to create um, a diagonal pocket with this piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue down my fussy cut piece to the cream cardstock. So let me let me just dry fit real quick. And that looks good. And the cream cardstock I'm using is called Astro Brights, 65 pound. There's 50 sheets in a pack. We have this in our store. And I really like this brand. Um, the paper is just really nice and smooth and I haven't had any issues with it cracking. I need to clean my cap. All right, well, I wanna say thank you to everybody who stopped by the booth at Expo. It was so fun meeting so many of you um it was it was really a good time we did we did well we sold a lot of albums and i think we got some new subscribers so that was fun as well so again thanks for stopping by at the expo and making a purchase if you're one of the um, folks that made a purchase we really appreciate that all right <clears throat> okay now as you can see the cream card stock far exceeds um, my fussy cut element. So I've gone over this in um, previous videos, but I'm gonna do it again. So what I do is I go around and trace the edge of my fussy cut, and by tracing the edge with this embossing tool, it leaves an indent all the way around it, and that's my guide for fussy cutting the cardstock around this element. <clears throat> And if you hold it just right into the light, you know you're going to cut on the far side of the emboss. And I don't know if anybody else uses this technique. It just occurred to me one day out of the blue, and I thought, why wasn't I doing this sooner? It makes it a lot easier, especially if you have low light or if you have trouble seeing. Um, it just gives you that extra um, outline and I'm going to bring it up to you and see if I can show it to you closer. The light's probably going to wash it out. Let me see if I can find it for you. I'm trying to tip it so the light hits it just right. And it's not with the white cardstock. It's actually easier to see when I do it with black. <clears throat> you have to pardon my nails. I'm in the middle of a manicure. I broke all my nails off at the, at the expo, <laughs> packing and unpacking. <clears throat> Okay, so then after I trace this, I'm gonna go through and fussy cut the edge. I'm gonna do that offline. It's very tedious, it's gonna take some time, and I don't think you guys wanna watch me do that. But I did wanna share with you this technique. Now, I'm gonna use a piece of black cardstock and show you. If you put a piece of foam behind this, you'll get an even deeper in, um, impression. Let's find a piece of black cardstock real quick. And then I will show you essentially what I'm talking about. And I think I can show it with the black better. I'm actually in my own light. So you can see the emboss. So I'm gonna cut on the far side of that for this and then I'll have a nice perfect border around this fussy cut element. I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Um, so this pattern is from the eight by eight collection pack and I'm gonna use it as the backdrop for this page and we're on page one and then as you can see I've gone through and I fussy cut um, this design element and it's going to go here as a side pocket. It's hard to cover this up but I really liked this um, plaid background with this so let's go ahead and get this in. If you haven't used or tried the blue fern paper oh it is so nice. Um, it's really thick and ultra smooth. It's beautiful. Um, I really like this collection. I was excited to work with it. 
we just started carrying blue fern, so it's pretty new to me. The images and their design aesthetic reminds me of Stamperia. Um, but they use a little bit bolder colors, as you can see. Some of these colors in here are quite bold. I like that. <clears throat> you get a stronger sense of contrast, I think. Anyway, like I said, I'm excited. Did I do that right? Yeah, I just want to make sure my pocket's to the left and right. It is. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this is a very simple page, page one. And part of the reason I'm keeping it so it's simple is because this image is just so beautiful. Now again, I fussy cut this image from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Okay, I'm gonna get some tape. <clears throat> Uh, which way do I want to go? Okay. This way. I'm going to cut that so that the tape goes all the way to the end using my tape tear tool, which I cannot live without. I'm going to remove this band so that I can tape the bottom flap before I apply it. <clears throat> there we go. And then I need to cut this, trim this little piece that's extending past the flange. <clears throat> I'm applying this to the right hand side so the spine is to the left on page one and there we go voila isn't that pretty so now we have this nice side pocket and I will definitely be having some inserts in here isn't that pretty that might even be one of the inserts okay I'll make sure my hinge is all the way here my, not hinge, but flange is all the way down, all the way up. Okay, there we go. So there's page one, all done.